Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. I wanted to talk a bit today about physical fitness and disaster readiness and why it's important and why you should be focused on it. Now I'm not here to tell you what to do. I know I just sort of contradicted myself, but I'm going to give you reasons as to why I think you should be focusing on your physical health and your physical fitness if you're talking about preparing for shit hits the fan. And I've, I've spoken about this before. So for many people who've watched my videos all along, especially since the dawn of this channel where I really emphasize the physical fitness aspect, this video might seem a little repetitive to you. But for everybody else who's sort of just kind of caught onto the channel in the last little while, uh, perhaps I can inspire you, you know, with a couple points that I'm going to bring up with respect to this. Now, I, I want to approach this from a perspective which is non-judgmental and non-critical, and I think I've, I've done a pretty good job at that. You know, I'm only human, I have opinions, and I have, uh, sometimes I, you know, I get a little fired up about what I'm talking about. And a little bit of emotion and passion is okay. But what I find commonly what stands the test of time is is just presenting the facts. That's what typically stands the test of time. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And when we're talking about survival, as I've said before, and, and this is my, my main premise with my whole argument, is that if your goal is to survive longer, if when we're talking about survival, the goal is longevity. And the goal is quality of life. If you can have longevity and quality of life doing the things that you're doing now, then by all means, do those things. But if you call yourself a prepper or a survivalist, uh, and, you, and you're not doing those things that are going to bring you a higher quality of life physically and increase your longevity on this earth, then you're sort of a walking contradiction. And I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's what it is. Okay? If that's if you're comfortable with that, then that's fine. But you have to know that you're contradicting yourself. Now I understand how hard it can be to start something. Okay, you gotta think of like a little seed of any plant or let's say a, a seed from a tree. It starts out as a little seed, and every year, it, it uh, especially as a seedling, that's the hardest time, you know, and animals can come and eat it, you know, uh, it can get stomped out, it can get choked out by the other plants, you know, uh, it's very vulnerable at that point in time when it's just starting out, and that's why it's so hard for people to get started. Once you get going, it gets easier and easier. Every year, that tree adds another uh, layer of another ring of bark to it. You know, it's uh, it's getting stronger and stronger, and its structure is getting stronger and stronger. And it takes time in order to do that. But once once you get in gear, and once it locks in, and you get that momentum going, I'm telling you, you know, it's the best prep that you can possibly have, and you cannot barter. For health, there's going to be a point when adrenaline is going to take you so far. Adrenaline and will will take a person fairly far, even you know, in spite of their weight, in spite of their you know uh, health problems. For short bursts of uh, energy, for immediate crises, where you just need that jolt of energy to get something done really fast or pull somebody up or pull somebody out of a car or fight somebody off excuse me <coughs> you know uh, you don't necessarily need to be in tip top physical condition although that would definitely help you there as well but you in, if you want any sort of you know, edge in any endurance activity, you're going to have to pay some attention to your physical health. 
and by that of course I mean eating well, sleeping well, and exercising well. And replace sleeping well with recovering well, because recovering is half of exercise. Now, I'm not here to preach to you to, you know, that you should go and uh, start an exercise program. But I'm just here to present the facts that if you don't, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. People say, oh, you know, guns are the great equalizer and uh, I don't need to to uh, worry about anything because, you know, in their minds, a lot of preppers, the only threat is the marauder aspect or the human aspect. They're, they don't even seem that concerned, a lot of people, with the threat itself, which is kind of funny because if we're talking about, you know, the threat itself, be it whatever, pandemic, uh, sudden financial collapse, war, whatever the case may be, a lot of preppers are more concerned with the the consequence of the event, just assuming that they're going to somehow survive the event, when chances are, if you're in that uh, large uh, population that is unlucky, you know, you're never going to have a chance to use all your tactical, you know, and shoot people from a distance like you envisioned from your doorstep, right? So, that's that's one of the points right there. If you want to build immunity, if you want to build uh, not only, I mean, a healthy body is a healthy mind. Some people don't understand that either. Like the, the better shape you are in, the smarter you're going to be. Because you're, you're, if your body working better, your mind is working better, your blood is flowing better, your neurons are firing better. When you're getting the right nutrients, when you're stimulating your body in different ways when you're producing all those hormones and you're raising your testosterone levels or for females you're balancing your hormones you know you're more fertile you're there's just the list goes on with respect to survival of the fittest it's not survival of the most paranoid wild-eyed gun nut <coughs> I can see the importance in that, don't get me wrong, and this is not to discount the importance of some level of uh, tactical training to deal with potential threats. However, that should be secondary in my books to dealing with the actual events and preparing for the actual events. And the first and foremost way I think that you can do that is to deal with your temple. Your body is your temple. Your physical body is what you're always going to have with you. And if you've lost that, you've lost anyways. So, emphasis should be on that. And if you don't have the discipline to, and I've said this before, and I, once again, I don't mean this in a judgmental way because just because you haven't done it yet doesn't mean you can't do it. You know, you might just not have made the choice to do it and had the willpower or the desire, I should say, not the willpower, the desire to continue with it. So if you don't have the discipline to enhance the capabilities of your body now and to fine-tune your physique to improve your physical fitness now what makes you think that you're going to be that have the self-discipline it's going to take to ration food to keep it together emotionally when the shit hits the fan to just have the discipline to uh you know, be very diligent in your daily tasks in a very rule of law situation. You know, it's what how you treat your body is reflective of how you think. It's reflective of how you behave 
in many different ways and I really do think that that self-discipline, that physical self-discipline is one of the best indicators of uh, who will be successful. Now I'm not saying that, and as I've said before, just because you're physically fit, there's a lot of douchebags out there. You know, there's a lot of people who I would uh, turn down over people who are unfit just because of the fact that their personalities weren't in the weren't compatible with mine, you know, because I felt that they were egotistical and of course there's going to be a lot of that, but that should not be a excuse for you to avoid it altogether, you know, and saying that guns are the great equalizer, that should not be an excuse for you to neglect your physical health. And to some people, it's a joke. You know, how you just, you know, you'll, they'll laugh about it and they'll agree that, <coughs> excuse me, that, um, you know, it's an issue, but they'll never do anything about it. And, you know, I, I feel, uh, I don't know, I just get a little frustrated with that, you know, because... I just know you would be so much more powerful. Your survivability would skyrocket if you could just have the discipline to do it. It's gonna take a little time, but once you see the progress, once you see the, either, if, whether it's the weight dropping off or adding lean mass, your strength going up, your flexibility going up, your endurance, your speed, your stamina, dexterity, Whatever the case might be, once you see those improvements, I guarantee you, nothings you're not going to want to stop. And you're going to see how better it makes you at all those other things you're already good at. And, you know, you're going to be blown away at what you're capable of and how much it enhances all other aspects of your life. But anyways, uh, that's all I got for now. So I hope this has inspired you to make the changes you need to be the strongest version of yourselves. Excuse me one more time. <coughs> Still a little sick here. Kids are bringing uh, colds back to the house. But uh, I didn't uh, coin that term, the strongest version of yourself. If you want to get some more strength motivation, go check out the channel of Elliot Hulse. He's the uh, one of my strength gurus and a person who I've listened to for many years and uh, he has great information with respect to this. So the time is now while the grid is up to get your shit together and uh, demonstrate a little bit of self-discipline that's going to carry you. And I'm by no means a 100% self-disciplined individual. I have a lot of uh, weaknesses in some respects that I'm working on. But I tell you, you know, it's a great base. It's a great foundation. And uh, just the the confidence and the, the stability and, uh, you know, uh, even your persona, the way people interact with you is going to be more positive. And just uh, the benefits are numerous. So anyways, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out.